Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You better check out another Nukes Top 5. This is five scary ghost videos will mess you up, bro. <laughs> That's a weird, really ridiculous title. They'll mess you up. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, we're going to check out this. It's going to be another ghost video to see if this one to make it scary. We've seen some of them, don't you know, we do these, try to do once a week because I know this. The, but this one's like an older one on this guy's channel. Just again, if you haven't seen this guy's channel, Duke's Top 5, which, which is where we get all these. And there's a lot of other ones. Uh, I have to add another one for, uh, what was the other one? Sandbox 10, I think it is. That's another, another good yeah. channel. So we're gonna do, we didn't want to put that up, so I need to edit that one. So this one's uh, another Duke's Top 5. We're gonna check it out, see if anything's scary. Mess you up, bro. Top <laughs> five ghosts on camera. The West Virginia Penitentiary. The infamous West Virginia Penitentiary is one of the oldest prisons in the United States. The sprawling fortress like prison operated from 1876 to 1995. It housed some of the world's most dangerous inmates. In fact, after numerous horrifying attacks and homicides in the penitentiary, the U.S. Department of Justice named the prison one of the 10 most violent correctional facilities in the U.S. Almost 1,000 men lost their lives in the West Virginia penitentiary, either by sickness, execution, or the frequent brutal attacks by fellow inmates. The former brothers Josh, Rocky, and Sean from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare traveled to the small town of Moundsville to investigate the allegedly haunted West Virginia uh, Penitentiary. Right now we're here at West Virginia State Penitentiary. We're going to get started in the it cell block area. Cool, though, the way this it's area here is where they housed most of the violent inmates. In 1986, a brutal attack by a fellow inmate ended the life of prisoner Red Snyder. Many claimed to have seen Red's ghost still walking the prison halls. Red, my name's Josh, this is, this is Rocky and Sean, they were talking about you earlier today, that one of your friends brutally murdered you, right here in this cell, can you see us, let us know if you're in here, see the, yeah, then whenever I stopped, I stopped, then I asked. Oh, that. I asked. Sounds like a cell door opening. Or yeah. closing. Josh and Rocky Foreman head to the second floor cell block to do a spirit box session. They capture some very bizarre and unsettling responses. Is this your cell? I'm no longer in prison. Where are you at if you're not in prison? Are you free? I was Can you still hear us? Yes? Can you say Josh? Then say it. Say Josh. I heard you. The Foreman brothers reunite on the prison's main floor and are walking down the dark hallway when suddenly they see this. Oh, did you see that? I caught that. Oh, shadow. Oh, that's right. It's standing there. Shadow. But it stood there for like a second. Yeah, a dark shadowy figure, figure seems to just appear out of thin air at the end of the hallway. Then, walks out of sight. This handle. Look how high that handle is. Holy sh**. My heart is racing. Just stand by it, Sean. This handle. The Paranormal Nightmare team tries to debunk this bizarre shadow figure, but they come up with no answers. Yeah, so is this the ghost of one of the inmates who lost his life in the prison? You decide. 
It's kind of strange. Over on their YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV series, you can check out more of the Foreman brothers and their paranormal yeah, investigations. To watch the Hider in the house. Chilean TikTok user Franco Villegas claims that lately odd supernatural activity has been occurring in his home. He says that he's seen unexplained shadows, experienced sleep paralysis, and most bizarre of all, he says that some unseen thing actually bit him on the back. Franco decides to set up a small CCTV camera to record himself as he sleeps. We know I can catch him while he's sleeping. Is that a looks like a dog, but it's staring at something. Is that a is that a hand? Looks like it. A blurry white figure seems to appear on camera. Oddly enough, whatever it is doesn't seem to upset or excite Franco's dog. It continues to sleep through the entire incident. Three days later, Franco's bed sheet is pulled off by something. But it doesn't end there. Two days later, on April 30th, Franco Villegas starts to hear knocking on his bedroom door. Oh, he has cats. They're all staring at the door. But there's no knocking. He's got, he's got a camera that's switched to his face the door, maybe? So Franco changes the angle of the CCTV camera to point towards his door. Five days go by without incident. But on May 5th, as Franco sleeps, his security camera catches something truly chilling. Whoa. And there's no... Oh. Nobody there. What is that? Whoa, that's creepy. It's like... Wow. Now it slams the door. The camera records what seems to be the pale face of a girl peeking into Franco's room as he sleeps. That kind of sounds In desperation, Franco asks his TikTok viewers for advice on what to do about the strange spirit that seems to haunt his home. One viewer recommends an odd sort of seance, saying that Franco should try talking to the spirit while holding a candle uh, in front of a mirror. That's going to provoke it. Yeah. Why would you want to do that? I'm gonna tell the thing you don't want it to leave or something. Me, leave it home, it's right now, there. I'm certainly not saying that this footage is real. It's but what right. makes it more compelling is that Franco clearly shows that the bathtub is empty and that he's alone only seconds before the girl appears. One night, Franco is filming one of his cats playing, and what happens next is. Truly bizarre. I will not be a piece of. He's just up there again. Oh, it's coming up the stairs. Attack it. No, it slams the door. Yeah, no. Just That's the tail. Ah, I'm straight. Hey! hey. She ran back over there and it's gone again. Dear Lord. And now he's on his bed. So, is Franco Viega's house really truly haunted? Very or very creepy. is it all just an elaborate hoax? If it wasn't you decide. Hoax, really creepy. You can follow Franco's continuing Plus, story you know, over on his TikTok page. Edit a video, have a friend do that. Out of step. It's true. TikTok user BetsonAngel69 is a 44-year-old mother of three that mainly uses her TikTok account to keep up with her older children. One day, when looking across the street from where she lives, she notices a mysterious figure pacing back and forth. She took a video of it and shared it with one of her friends. Where is it? Oh, it's in the woods. But you can only see its feet. You can't actually see the full unless it comes out more. It's pretty over there. It's kind of like pacing. 
see if like it runs. I mean, at least she's like she's it now, so she's gonna keep the camera on. But you never know; it could just be an animal and still strange. The next day, the figure is back again. It paces back and forth for hours on end. Hours. And thinks that whoever it is might have a mental illness, which would explain the yeah, erratic behavior. She records again, and this time posts the video on TikTok to see what other people think. Taya, get over here. Like, you see it? Get some people like walk over there as a group and see what the heck it is. It just walks back and forth, back and forth, back and it's forth. It's kind of like as of like it's, it's way over that time. Way over. In the comments on her TikTok, Bets and Angel 69 gets many questions about the history of the location. And some viewers even wonder if the event might be of a paranormal nature. Bet follows up with another video. Okay, so everybody that's been <laughs> kind of curious, this is the church that's directly across the street from my house that I was explaining. Um, this is the area where we see that figure. It just walks back and forth Don't every day, all Look day. Right there. Now, I've been over there a couple of times um, as I walk up on it. There's just nothing there. Now, whoever our Whatever the figure might be, it seems that Bet's dog is a little freaked out as well. How do you see? Can't see you. Yeah. But it's barking though. I can't see anything. I can't see nothing that you die. But it's alarmed at something though. It's okay, buddy. When Bet sees the figure again, she decides to go take a look, but she's too scared to go alone. She brings her husband along, and they go to investigate. My husband has agreed to but walk see, there's me over there, see what we can find. See, we're gonna have the camera on so we can get close so you can see it. Sorry. Well, here's the spot. I don't see it. There's no, I don't either. Nothing there. I mean, it's pretty full. Hello? Is anybody there? I see nothing. I'm so nervous. What was that? I don't know. Do you need help? What was that? This is the that? moment uh, we turned and ran. I know it might not seem that scary on camera, but when we were up that close, it was so loud and it was just this almost guttural scream. Um, Let me guess the figure uh, charges the out. moment we heard it and ran, you can kind of see us back there. So there they are. And we took off. My poor husband was like, F this. He kept looking back. Um, I think at one point he was like, TikTok, I'm out of here, this is done. Now, did Bets and Angel 69 capture a ghost stuck in a recurring loop? Could it just be some deranged person and nothing paranormal at all? <laughs> or is it all just a hoax? Let me know no, what you think. Tough. Check out Bets and Angel's TikTok page to follow her continuing story. The Watcher. Ghost Hunting Channel Polish Paranormal TV explores an allegedly haunted building deep in the woods near the city of Katowice, Poland. A dark history surrounds the location. Only a month prior to the investigation, the burned body of a homeless man was discovered by an unsuspecting hiker. What? Since then, there have been rumors of weird and unexplained things happening to all who enter the abandoned house. So let's go Before way, Polish Paranormal TV start their investigation, they check the grounds to make sure that they are completely alone. Zrobiliśmy już rekonesans. Jesteśmy totalnie sami. Nie ma tutaj nikogo oprócz nas. Wchodzimy do środka. Dobra. Jak widzicie, 
I wonder what kind of armor it was used for. Go shut up. Probably somebody's house or something. Once inside the house, they immediately begin to hear strange noises. Jeżeli jesteś tutaj z nami, daj nam znać. Będziemy wiedzieć, że jesteś i odejdziemy. Każdy odejdzie w swoją stronę. Już tu więcej nie wrócimy. I'm sure they will still continue. Probably. There you go. Now, the guys laugh it off at first, but things get a bit more serious when they get a direct response to a question. Kolejną szansę, możesz się z nami skomunikować. Daj jakiś znak, że tutaj jesteś. Kto tu jest? Oh, there's rocks and stuff everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all these are all rocks. They keep hearing odd sounds around the house, but they can't find the source. But their YouTube viewers were shocked when they noticed this. Cool. Oh, the engine. Oh, right there. Did you see it? Right there. I Polish had... ghost hunters didn't notice at the time or even point it out in their video. But someone seems to be walking around the corner just as they check the staircase. Oh, yeah. Huh. That is. Looks like a foot. No. That's all fast. I almost didn't even see them in the building so long. Oh, the place is really dirty. Hello. Now watch. It's outside. And there's no one out there. Hmm. Oh, they're going the base. Now, it certainly could just be a homeless man in the building that came to check out the noise. But again, I remind you, that is before true. the investigation, the Polish Paranormal TV crew inspected the entire building to make sure they were alone. So, what do you think? Is it a paranormal entity or just a wandering homeless man? Let me know down in the comments. A quiet voice. Popular YouTuber and paranormal explorer Ricky Velasquez frequently does live streams while exploring allegedly haunted locations in Mexico. In this live stream, Ricky and a female friend are exploring a haunted house in Ciudad Guzman, Mexico. They begin to hear what sounds like the voice of a little girl. They call out to the child, and that's when things get truly bizarre. Yeah. Ciao. Come ti chiamas? Chiami. Non ti devo whisper. Mia. Guarda chi è chi chi. Scusaste? Scusaste? Sono già morto. Cosa che cai in scale? Sono già vivo. Hola. ¿Te podemos ver? Niña. ¿Quieres que te veamos? Manifiéstate. Niña. Yo 
Then we have Are you serious? He ain't gonna run? Don't see him yet. So, did Ricky Velasquez capture the ghost of a little girl on his live stream? What do you think? You can see the full investigation over on Ricky Velasquez's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. To submit or suggest videos, right, email me it. at nukestopvibe at gmail. Well, that was... This one was definitely scary. It's very scary. Yeah, it's, 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 the ones that with the shows like a person with like the long hair peeking around from this, it gives me like, it gives me like the crease. It gives me like shows like seeing something. Yeah. Like Mind you of like... Uh, kind of like those scary paranormal movies, you know, when you... When you go, when you're watching a movie, yeah, you it was know. like the movie was talking like The Grudge or something. I forget which movie it was. It started, but it was like a girl with really long hair, she's creepy looking. So, kind of reminds me. Of, reminds me of that. So you see some glowing eyeballs peeking on the corner. At you, I would say that's yeah, a little creepy. I mean, it's slamming the door on its own. And yeah, I mean, the first it was like one of the first videos, and that last one where you see some long hair, you see the eyes. Yeah, um, you know, for some. That they were editing, and they're, they're, they're having a friend do it for them. Like, oh, okay, I could see maybe it wouldn't be that scary because you know you're in, you're in on it. But I, I, the people's reaction to it, it's definitely scary. Yeah, it's, it's definitely scary. scary. Yeah, it's, it's definitely scary. scary. It's definitely 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 it was definitely creepy. I can't see him when you see the little faces peek around the corner at you. Of course, it would, that would make me jump a little bit if I saw that. Yeah. Especially when you're asking, you know, manifest self, can we, we want to see you, or, you know, show yourself, and all of a sudden it happens, then they freak out and they run away. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely very creepy. I mean, I mean, like, you never know. I mean, these could just be people doing it for views and everything else. I mean, like the one where there's a person walking like running back and forth yeah, in the that was, woods that was, that was odd like I would have definitely get, try to get it in the video as you're walking towards it and then that way you can kind of keep in front of you so you know where you're going to however I mean they didn't really show anything up close they only got this thing from a distance so I don't know, that, that, that could have been anybody just doing that, and, you know. Or it could be a person with some mental issues doing that. Yeah, it could be actually be a real person walking back and forth for some bizarre reason because they couldn't get anything up close to really tell what it was. Yeah, and um, the, the girl that was haunting the guy and his cats, I mean, that one could have just been <clears throat> a roommate or someone living with him just doing it for views because I mean it's really easy to edit someone's eyes to make it glow or whatever so mm -hmm. I mean it could have just been someone doing it for views but who knows maybe it was real life. yeah we always try to be you know logical about this I know some of these videos are here for entertainment some are, some are edited and, and fake just, just to get people to watch but there are plenty that definitely seem very believable I like the stuff that that's seemed believable that you, you know actual stuff getting caught on camera people who do you know silly things just to get people to watch it granted it's entertaining but it's, it's actually cool when it's something actually paranormal caught on camera it is creepy though at the same time mm. um, I give these people a lot of credit especially you know the people going by themselves or whatever uh, and they, they go they face off with a paranormal thing all by themselves especially dark and, and something freaky I mean I don't you know, I would, I would really prefer to go in with a group. I would never want to go by myself to any place that's dark and, and creepy to begin with. You know, it's not a, uh, abandoned places throughout the world that, that just going in to these buildings, even during the day, is, it would be creepy. You know, like going in there at night by yourself. Mm. You know, like like the first one, the penitentiary, when they, they saw the shadow walking on the end of the hallway. That seemed pretty believable. I mean, there was nobody else was around. Yeah. 
I mean, I suppose it, it still could be one of their friends to order. Um, and by, oh. but sorry, but like a penitentiary that that's abandoned, that's creepy. And well, not to mention, I mean, just because it's abandoned, I mean, I don't think you can go on that property. I must, I don't think you're supposed to. I don't know. I did, I think, I think if a place is abandoned, I don't know. Maybe I think some laws prohibit people from going on the property I, if it's abandoned. Yeah, I often wonder when these these ghost hunting people, the paranormal hunters, whatever you want to call them, they go to these places. Is it are these places you know locked up? Like how do they get? They have to get permission to go in. Yeah. You know, or they they just go in on their own volition and. Because nobody's around to stop them. I often wonder about that. Because I mean, there's tons of videos and TV shows with the people going to these these locations which have been abandoned for a long period of time, and it doesn't seem like there's anybody there to stop them. They just go in. And I would think that the places should would be locked up, but that's just me. I don't know how that whole thing works when people go ghost hunting. So yeah, you know, I know like we can go to like a cemetery because it's open, but I don't know how much you would actually catch in a cemetery. I suppose you you, you could be. You I don't could, know. Weird you know, question. But some of these videos are, are, are pretty cool. They were kind of creepy. Like they, like I said, the girls with the long hair, the little you know bee eyes looking around the corner at nighttime. I mean, I think they'd be kind of freaky out. Or the guy you had the blanket pulled off in the middle of the night. That'd be weird. You go to sleep with your blankets on, you wake up and they're off with a. And you didn't do it, or you did. We wake up to have that happening too. That'd be, you know, I would never want to have that. What do they call it? sleep paralysis? That'd be pretty terrible, especially mm-hmm. with the ghost in your in your apartment, or your house, or whatever. Yeah. Anyways, I think that's that's gonna do this. Is a pretty good uh, video from from uh, Nukes Top Five. Uh, but I would say probably sixty percent has probably seen believable. The other the stuff, man, there really wasn't enough evidence to tell either way. Yeah. But, but I think that's gonna do it. I'm sure we'll be checking out some more paranormal stuff in the very near future. We try to do one or two a week, anyways, because we find it very interesting. Yeah. So if you guys like this video, have any thoughts or comments or have any other links to videos you want us to watch, put it down below. And as always, hit that like and subscribe. Until next time.